This is a video for finding the optimal settings for mining Ethereum, Ravencoin and Vertcoin for the RTX 3080. I'll make it quick because hash time is money. Now for Ethereum, we'll start off with the default MSI Afterburner settings and you'll want to use the Curve Editor. For cards like a GTX 1070, I'd recommend just using the Core Clock instead. Grab the point on the left side and slowly raise that till it's above the maximum point on the right. Then holding the ALT key, you'll drag it down and stop around 1250. That's a good spot for Ethereum. Core clock means very little on the 3080. Once you've found 1250 or thereabouts, click apply and you can close the curve editor. Now the next step is overclocking the memory. For my card around 1250 is decent, it doesn't crash, but depending on your card you may be able to get a little more or a little less. For this test, we'll be setting the fan speed to 100%. You'll see why shortly. Open your preferred miner, and if all goes well, you should be seeing close to 100 mega hashes per second, with the card sitting at around 230 watts. With updates to Hardware Info 64, you can now see the memory junction temperature of 3080s and 3090s. Now what you're comfortable with is up to you, but I like to keep temperatures under 100 degrees C. With Ravencoin, we'll be doing something very similar to Ethereum. However, Core Clock does make a little difference, so we'll be increasing that a little bit more. Once again, set the curve, bring it down to around 1550 megahertz, click apply, and if you see a flat curve, you're done. Once again, we'll be setting our memory clock to plus 1250. You can go a bit higher or a bit lower depending on your card. And the fan speed, 100%. Using your preferred miner, you should be seeing close to 50 mega hashes per second at around 280 watts. So it is rather hungry with power compared to Ethereum. Once again, Hardware Info 64 is a great program for monitoring GPU temps. As mentioned, I prefer GPU memory temps below 100 degrees C and keep in mind that it will throttle at 110 C. Vertcoin is another coin that will benefit somewhat from Core Clock, so we will be setting it higher compared to Ethereum. Once again, after opening the Curve Editor, set the left frequency above the maximum of the right. Then holding Alt, bring it down to, we're gonna go around 1600 megahertz for this one. If you go too high, your graphics card will crash. Hit apply and you're done. Overclocking the memory to plus 1250 works great on my card, but on yours, depending on your luck, you could go a bit higher or a bit lower. Now this coin is nowhere near as harsh as Ethereum or Ravencoin on the GPU, so temps will be lower, so I won't be setting the fan speed to 100, instead we'll be trying 80%. Now whether you use the one click miner or vert hash, results should be much the same. For this example, we'll just be using the one click miner. Once again, if all goes well, you should be seeing roughly 1.65 mega hashes per second. Using GPU Z to monitor wattage, you can expect a power draw roughly of 170 to 175 watts. And in Hardware Info 64, memory temps should be much lower compared with Ethereum and Ravencoin. And that just about does it for this quick little guide. Of course, in the crypto world, things are changing rapidly, so what works today may not work the same tomorrow. Good luck and happy mining.